Girl, one typo on a flyer, bitch, cost me millions, and you know what? I've seen all the mystery box drama. Guys, don't forget, at the end of this video, we're gonna finally pick the winner for the Jaclyn Hill highlighter. What's going on, everyone? It's Rich Lux, and in today's video, girl, you won't believe the drama. Rich Lux exclusive. And if you guys like these fans, they're by God Glamit. I'll put the link down below. It's affiliate link, so check it out if you want. All right. All right, so Jeffree Star went on Snapchat. Here's what he had to say. First time today, the sun is out. The rain finally stopped. It was pouring for hours. It was actually really magical. Hi, Diva. Da Vinci's chilling. Hi, Delicious. <sighs> hi. How are ya? Oh, hi. <laughs> you guys, I've been up for hours. I'm having the time of my life by myself, dancing all over the house and just living. I'm just so grateful to be here. I'm so happy to be alive. And I am just, I don't know, I wake up every morning so excited to work and create. And today is so special. There's just a lot going on, but I just want to say hello. Um, I know a lot of you have seen all the mystery box drama. Girl, one typo on a flyer, bitch, cost me millions. And you know what? I don't care. I care about you guys. I care about the customer and I care about you guys always knowing full transparency what the fuck is going on around here. So I fucked up. Everyone got a refund for the mini and everyone is still getting the box. So I hope that you all love the stickers um, and the two items in there. Girl, for $20, y'all got a steal and a deal. Um, but yeah, the flyer was fucked up. So anyway, I might do a video about it because <laughs> there's a lot of behind the scenes things that y'all would die to know like that happened with that whole scenario. Also yesterday, y'all signed me. Y'all saw me sign right out of Twitter yesterday. People are being so crazy. Normally, it ain't that vicious, but I asked one simple question. Should we make the Peppermint Frost Mystery Box exclusive available one more time for all the people that couldn't um, get it because of all the checkouts and then now all the, the scalpers and the eBay resellers? There's legitimate people like, if you make that again, bitch, kill yourself. And I'm like... <sighs> okay, so it was Sunday. I logged off and went right back to enjoying my life because that is way too insane. Um, girl, it was a simple question, but y'all were really crazy. And I don't mean everyone. Most of you were like kind of shook and disgusted, which, hi, people are, it's makeup, right? People get so irate and insane about it. Um, I'm not going to make it again. I get it. It was advertised as an exclusive, but first of all, it is my brand. Hi, I can change the rules whenever I just real quick, when you own a company and you are the owner, and <laughs> you can change the rules. I can make every single item in the mystery boxes available on my site whenever I want. I'm not going to because I don't do that. And I asked a simple question and people were so vicious. I was like, <laughs> but you guys, makeup is about having fun, about creating. And I get it. You guys love the exclusives in the boxes. So of course we will be making um, bigger quantities when we do mystery boxes again. So, hi, Valentine's Day. <laughs> See you soon. So, no, I did not get the mystery boxes. I didn't get any of them. I honestly, I'll be honest with you, I tried. I got, on, I got online, had two other people trying to get these mystery boxes, and they were gone. Like, so, literally, anyone can get the mystery box because you're on the website trying to buy it. So, everyone's trying to get give their money, but not everybody will get their money taken because it just goes, I don't know what it is. It's so... Can you imagine? That's like a good problem to have for you to have a product. And let's say you have like 100,000 units and you got like 300,000 people trying to buy it at the same time. Not everybody's going to get it. So you have 200,000 people who just were there online are not going to get it. I didn't get it. I wanted a mystery box, either the small one, the medium one, or the large. I didn't get anything. And I like them because there's this awe. I, maybe Jeffrey doesn't know this, but I'm gonna like maybe say it. Maybe it makes sense or not. Then we'll get into Jaclyn Hill drama. It's like, so Jeffree Star puts out this new palette. It's like, looks like this. It's called like a peppermint palette, patty, peppermint. I don't know, it's a peppermint palette, okay? Highlighter, trio, whatever, right? So it came out. You can find that palette now on like other websites for $100, $200, $300, because it's, it's limited edition, right? So Jeffree Star went on Snapchat or Instagram or Twitter or whatever and was like, you know, should I make this a permanent collection? And people got all upset 
because they're like, you said that it was going to be limited edition, and now you want to make it permanent. So it's like, I think that people, they want, don't come for me. Jeffree Star, even, although he's still independent brand, he is now moving closer and closer in the realms of like, bigger than Kylie, bigger than Huda. He's getting there. I think he eventually will get there. Jeffree Star has been exposed. Now he's a multi, multi, multi millionaire. Okay, the next step for him to hit billionaire status if he's not already there already, right? That being said, I think that he's, and other, and I think Huda should do it, and, and Kylie, I think this is what's missing, is for those ultra fans, right? The mega fans, they want something that nobody else has that creates exclusivity for the brand, right? Like I have this, it was a short run, never to be seen again. And I think that this peppermint patty, this peppermint palette, people really wanted it. They really thought that this was gonna be that exclusive item that they can have that won't be like manufactured any other time or that type of thing, right? So Jeffrey was like, man, everybody wants this. Let me make more, they make it permanent, right? I get it. But I think Kylie and Huda and, and other brands, they should make something that's like, look, we're gonna make this thing and it could be a palette, it could be a highlighter, it could be a doll, it could be something that's like a, a commemorative part of the brand that is like if, for the real, real mega fans to have. And because there are legit people who have, I'm telling you, people love makeup and they collect makeup. I have makeup in some of these drawers back here that are in new sealed packaging that I feel are limited edition. And they're just gonna sit there and just collect dust. And one day I'm gonna brush it off and be like, yep, here it is. Never touched, never used, still wrapped up, you know what I'm saying? And it's gonna be worth money one day. People do it with cards, shoes, bags. I think the makeup world, we're gonna see some of that, right? And there's, there's like, you know, like those cards that have like a small defect, those go for money too. And I think that people wanted this peppermint palette to be that. So when he was saying that he's gonna make more and that he, it is his brand, like he said, it is his brand. He could easily come on camera and say, we're gonna make it permanent. He could very well do that. But I think there's, there are people who want that exclusivity. Like, yes, I got something that no one else has. People want, people like that. People do that like, like major luxury brands make stuff that are very limited in quality. They hike the price very, very high up for, for something that not everyone can get. And it's a collector's item that will one day retain its value and be worth money. So is his brand at that point where he can come out with a co commemorative, I call it, item like that? I think it's one of the, the successes with the Shane Dawson palette or, and the Shane Dawson merch. It's something that you're not gonna see all the time. It was like a, it was like a, a collectible Shane Dawson moment. I think that's why people want it and like it. I think everyone who wants it will get it. But imagine if this pig bag was like gold or silver or chrome or something, and there was only 10 ever made for $300. You know what I'm saying? That's when you start getting to like collector's items and then people can get sell it later on for even more money, for that type of thing. I don't know. I love stuff like that. And I think that everyone should maybe in 2020 focus on maybe something like that. Uh, skincare too. But anyways, I digress. All right guys, so we're gonna pick the winner of the Jaclyn Hill highlighter palette. So here we go. So we have a total of 49 pages, which was about 4,836 comments. And uh, it's in the video, Jaclyn Hill Makeup Drama. There's another video that you could also enter to win. I went in and just picked this one, it had the most engagement on it. So you might see your name flash across the screen. The rules were to like the video, be subscribed, and leave a comment. So basically any comment with Matt. So we're gonna see who the winner is. And uh, we're almost there. And I hope this person who wins it really like deserves it. You know what I'm saying? All right, so we're gonna randomly pick winner. And here we go. All right, Tanya's reviews. Maybe Morphe was watching to see if she could sell out. We're gonna click on her page here, see where it takes us. That is you, Tanya. So go ahead and message me my emails down below and I'll send you your Jack and Hill palette. And thank you for entering. There'll be more to come.